April 16th, Daily Video Bible Reading from the Net Bible, Psalms chapters 33 and 34 from the Old Testament. You godly ones shout for joy because of the Lord. It is appropriate for the morally upright to offer Him praise. Give thanks to the Lord with the harp. Sing to Him to the accompaniment of a ten-stringed instrument. Sing to him a new song, play skillfully as you shout out your praises to him. For the Lord's decrees are just, and everything he does is fair. The Lord promotes equity and justice. The Lord's faithfulness extends throughout the earth. By the Lord's decree the heavens were made. By a mere word from his mouth all the stars in the sky were created. He piles up the water of the sea. He puts the oceans in storehouses. Let the whole earth fear the Lord. Let all who live in the world stand in awe of him. For he spoke and it came into existence. He issued the decree and it stood firm. The Lord frustrates the decisions of the nations. He nullifies the plans of the peoples. The Lord's decisions stand forever. His plans abide throughout the ages. How blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord the people whom he has chosen to be his special possession. The Lord watches from heaven. He sees all people. From the place where he lives, he looks carefully at all the earth's inhabitants. He is the one who forms every human heart and takes note of all their actions. No king is delivered by his vast army. A warrior is not saved by his great might. A horse disappoints those who trust in it for victory. Despite its great strength, it cannot deliver. Look, the Lord takes notice of his loyal followers, those who wait for him to demonstrate his faithfulness by saving their lives from death and sustaining them during times of famine. We wait for the Lord. He is our deliverer and shield. For our hearts rejoice in him, for we trust in his holy name. May we experience your faithfulness, O Lord, for we wait for you. I will praise the Lord at all times. My mouth will continually praise him. I will boast in the Lord. Let the oppressed hear and rejoice. Magnify the Lord with me. Let's praise his name together. I sought the Lord's help and he answered me. He delivered me from all my fears. Those who look to him for help are happy. Their faces are not ashamed. This oppressed man cried out and the Lord heard. He saved him from all his troubles. The Lord's angel camps around the Lord's loyal followers and delivers them. Taste and see that the Lord is good. How blessed is the one who takes shelter in him. Remain loyal to the Lord, you chosen people of his, for his loyal followers lack nothing. Even young lions sometimes lack food and are hungry. But those who seek the Lord lack no good thing. Come, children, listen to me. I will teach you what it means to fear the Lord. Do you want to really live? Would you love to live a long, happy life? Then make sure you don't speak evil words or use deceptive speech. Turn away from evil and do what is right. Strive for peace and promote it. The Lord pays attention to the godly and hears their cry for help. But the Lord opposes evildoers and wipes out all memory of them from the earth. The godly cry out and the Lord hears. He saves them from all their troubles. The Lord is near the brokenhearted. He delivers those who are discouraged. The godly face many dangers, but the Lord saves them from each one of them. He protects all his bones. Not one of them is broken. Evil people self-destruct. Those who hate the godly are punished. The Lord rescues his servants. All who take shelter in him escape punishment. God, today I just come before you and thank you for the peace that is in my heart. So many people think when you say you're a Christian, there's a couple things. One, that you should be perfect. And I am so far from that. (laughs) It's only by your grace in the death of your son that I can even be washed of all the mess that I create. And two, people think that when you're Christian, your life should be 
perfect, meaning nothing wrong should ever happen because now you're saying you're one of God's children. So why would he let bad things happen to you? <sighs> Such a big difference. Again, I thank you for the peace that you've brought into my life because now even though the same kinds of situations happen to me, I'm better equipped to deal with them. I know how to put you in charge of these areas of my life. I know how to put you in charge of all the areas of my life, but I know how to turn these areas over that I tried to hold on to before. I also know how to respond to them differently. And I think I can watch a Christian and a non-Christian respond to the exact same situation. Mm. One will end up with peace in their heart. One will end up with more frustration, usually anger, jealousy, betrayal. Today, God, I thank you for my peace. I thank you for that spot in my life that feels as though I'm tucked into your lap. You've got your arms around me and I am safe. That even though chaos surrounds me, drama tries to come up against me, people are intent on hurting me. It feels like nothing can happen to me, just like in the psalm that you save me from each one of them. That you give me this peaceful, quiet place that is just yours and mine. The end of that psalm is one of my favorites. The Lord rescues his servants. All who take shelter in him escape punishment. And sometimes I feel that way, God, with this peace in my heart. There's so many things that don't even enter into my life anymore. And I know that that's from your protection. I know that that is your shelter for me. Today, God, I thank you for the peace that you have given me for this life. In your son's name I pray. Amen.